Hello everyone, I'm Duke James and this is the continuation of my EU4 Cotton Candy campaign in EU4 Dharma. I made a couple changes, I gave candy to the Janes, I'm gonna give Volandu to the Janes as well, yep, I'm gonna give the Volandu to the Janes as well, once it's, uh, religion is converted because they have a local missionary strength modifier of negative 100, so I'm not going to be able to convert this. It's going to take like five years though, unfortunately. I was thinking about giving it to the monastic orders to make it go quicker, but... Then I'd have to revoke it from them. Also, I'm going to privateer in the Gujarat node. I sold a couple ships, I'm going to build an additional troop. And that's about it. Let's see, who does... Yeah, so I think they're... The thing that they changed with the estates was they made it decrease their loyalty by a lot more if you revoke it. If you revoke a province. So I'll just uh, keep this the way it is. You can make that an accepted culture and that will speed it up. Now it'll only take two years. Oh, okay, here's Coke or Coach. There's no Bengal. Bengal. Bengal, Bengal. Hungary, hung Hungary. Either way, there's no uh, Bengal anymore. It's now Coke. And Jarkand is dead. One base tax or stability? Stability is worth more. So the good news is I really don't have to expand that far up north to get a bunch of cotton. Because there's a lot of cotton provinces down here. Hopefully by the time I'm able to conquer this stuff I'll be able to, I'll have a, hopefully by the time I'm able to conquer that stuff, the Americas won't be that colonized, so I'll still be the production leader. Hopefully the uh, colonists are at each other's throats, the colonizers. The castle's almost done. going to be about a month before that happens. Before uh, I get enough favors with them. The Civil War is still here, it's just not progressing. There is the castle, so now this area is protected. Hopefully it can become prosperous. Both of these. How do I remove this? No, I don't want to remove it. I don't want... Oh, here we go. No edict. Yeah, I don't want that anymore.
I don't think it's giving me that much of a benefit. Forts cost a lot. Even taxes are like, what, uh, 0.4? I think something like that. So I want to try and wait for this. These rebels to rise up. I think if I if I convert it, it should lower unrest enough to where they're not gonna rise up. So either they rise up, okay, they're there. All right. How many men does... They have 17,000 men, okay. So I'm thinking this is going to be occupied. I'll stay down here with these guys and just let Bamanis fight. Call them back. Let Bamanis fight Andra. They have a ton of men. What is that? Uh, 28, 39, 40,000 men up there? Damn. What provinces do they want? Yeah, I'm going to stick to... There's an entrepot here, so I'm going to take these two provinces for myself, and then I'm going to give Madurai probably these three provinces, maybe another one. Yeah, because that's Madurai core, Madurai core, Madurai core... Matter right core. I don't think it'll make them too powerful. Fifteen thousand men. Let's move on that. Province. I'm going to do a Cori Conquest War and I'll call in Mysore and Bamanis. Why not? Alright. Hopefully, Andra can be knocked out really quickly. So I'm going to tell Bamanis to go right there. Oh, wow. Bamanis has given me subsidies. 5.61 subsidies. Holy heck, I'm gonna... Alright, they're just asking me to make this war go for as long as I can to get those sweet subsidies. So 
Somebody's missing here. Where's Cochin? Oh, they're hanging out over here. Why aren't you, uh... Why aren't you attached to me, Cochin? They have no morale. They must have been drilling. I'll let them go. Hey, Andro. They are actually closer than I thought. 32 positive, 58 negative. Where's their capital? Ah, it's up here. Wow, Bamanis really went, uh... They really went out there. What's the, uh, military? Seven heavies. Damn, how do they afford so many heavies? It's a ton of heavies. Let's go up here and take this fort. Actually, let's go over here and kill these guys. I have 15,000 men, so I don't want to separate myself too much. Alright, now I can give Valandu to the chains. That should remove the... Yeah, it boosts it to 47. So that'll boost my trade power even more. They gave up this siege down here. I'm gonna put one guy on the siege just in case my sword leaves. Trade expansion? Good. This entire continent is at war right now. They only have three forts. It's gonna hurt my money a little bit.
Wow, but Manus won that. Let's remove those guys. Take that province. Another tax. Let's get back. Get back below negative 33. Let's move them the safe way. Transfer this to Matarai. Does anybody want to leave? No, no. I still want Bomanus to take this territory. Grab that province and these provinces. Let's have those guys go over there, these guys can go over here, we can take this fort. As I'm out, right as I'm about to take it, Bamana shows up. Hey Bamanas, why are you taking this territory? I don't want that territory, but... And then they left. Gotta make up your mind. See Andra? No? 35-53. So they should be knocked out soon. I don't think they really even have many men. They have like 6,000 men. Hey, get off of me, Pomonis. Move him in the middle, and then these guys will go over here and take their capital. Or Pomanis will take their capital. Mm. 
Alright, so I could gain 10 karma, lose one more exhaustion, and the monastic orders gain 10 loyalty. Let's see, monastic orders have 50% loyalty, and I have... 3 war exhaustion, or I could gain 800 manpower. I'll take uh, the first option. The only problem I have with this is uh, these blockades. I am fighting three coastal powers. I gain a claim on a province and 10 prestige, all right. Do they have renaissance? They don't have renaissance. But they do have dip they have Miltec 8. Miltec 8, no renaissance. Their ruler is two a uh, 354. Where are they getting all those points from? They'd give me a province. Uh, no. I don't like your offer. Your offer sucks. You give me war reps. Ninety-five ducats. They actually say no to that. I only get 25 ducats, but... That's what I want. They probably would agree now. Yep. Yeah, I don't want... They don't really have any... I guess this is a... I'd say this is an attractive province, but... It has 17 development, so I'd go... That'd be way too much aggressive expansion. Yeah, that's, uh... No. Alright, so ducats, war reps. You end your rivalry, I get some prestige. Actually, only get two prestige. But that's fine. They are completely occupied. Let's move him there, and then I'll send these guys up to Orissa. They're constantly dealing with peasants and rebellions. Let's try and knock them out quickly. Let's 
suppose it depends on how quickly their capital could be taken, because I could get a bunch of ducats. Actually, I don't want those ducats, I want uh, war reps. Because the majority of those ducats are going to go to Bamanis. So I would just take war reps. Grab those provinces. They should play ball once their capital is taken. Colonialism is around. Let's see, I'll take the next idea. That gives me national tax modifier as well. Alright, I'll send him down here. Ten development province, it has a natural harbor. that royal marriage back. They do accept. They would. See, I don't know if I want 100 ducats, but then giving Arissa 200 ducats. I don't really like that. I don't want to give, or giving Bamanis to. I don't want to give Bamanis two hundred ducats. I could have them release nations. I feel like they would just get eaten up by Bamanis, though. Or just back from them. I'm going to have them give back. I'm gonna have them give back that core. I don't think the uh, Bengal exists. I could try and vassalize them. So they give back a core and they give me ten percent of their income. It might be too far, but it's, uh, distance between borders is way too high. That and then everything else. Alright, so it was worth a try. Didn't cost me anything, gave me some prestige. As for this peace deal, I'm going to probably, in between parts, pick a good peace deal and then I'll come back. And uh, so, for now, I am going to say goodbye, and uh, I will see you in the next part.